<laughs> All right. For for the bestiary, there are a ton of new ones that have come up, and there are a ton that are going to continue to come up as we get into the tournament. So in an effort not to bombard everyone with a second podcast just about mythical creatures, we're going to pick a couple each week and kind of add to them as we go. So some of them may not be from the section that we just read, but are from you know, a prior section that we weren't able to get to. Starting off with the unicorn, looking back at the mythology, it began around the 1400 BC area by the Greeks see, having seen one in the area of India. And this is probably like my favorite part about the unicorn is it's actually Scotland's national animal. And if you don't believe me, Google it because it legitimately is. And like, just makes me want to go to Scotland that much more now. <laughs> <laughs> So with unicorns, trial of worth, it's typically athleticism based or a race. They prefer to bond with royalty or you know, people of knighthood. This is a tier two mystical creature. So below the, the phoenixes and the nightmares, but still up there. Uh, it is a progeny born. Now, it it does have some interesting abilities with its magic. The evocation is kind of like a, a telekinetic shove or force to separate people away. The manipulation can actually influence feelings over people or crowds uh, to increase their courage or you know, give them a good mood. And I can only imagine how much they, they use that while trying to deal with crowd control or whatever is going on. You know, they can just be like, oh, you're, you're angry at each other? Not anymore. <laughs> Great for parents. And then finally, their augmentation. They have increased stamina, which pretty much is going to let them run full force all day long. So they definitely will not be beaten after they become a uh, arcanist with the unicorn. And then finally, they do have some pretty impressive passive abilities that we've seen in the past, mainly with Callisto. They are immune to poisons, diseases. So Callisto, again, remember he got hit with the King Basilisk Venom, but because he had his unicorn uh, horn trinket, he is unable to be killed using poison or disease. But the bane of it is it is not going to prevent blood disease. They are not immune to the arcane plague. They have to be just as scared and, and aware as everybody else. The other one we'll bring up is the counterpart to that, the Pegasus. So in mythology, the winged horse Pegasus sprang out of Medusa's head when Perseus killed her, and Pegasus is considered to be the offspring of Poseidon. There are also a tier two progeny born creature and their trial of worth is also physical prowess, though in this case it's usually acrobatic rather than a race. And as we saw, evocation manipulation is wind force able to clear out the entryway, make everybody stop fighting, throw everyone against the walls. So very, very powerful. And then not too much is said about augmentation or or passive abilities that they have. All right. And before we wrap everything up, we also want to, again, remind everybody to keep an eye out on a solid release date for the time marked Warlock, as this is going to be coming out sometime in April. And again, this is Shammy's new urban fantasy book. So keep an eye on Amazon for when that's available. And we, like always, we'd like to thank Dan Mackison, our editor, and you can find us on Podbean, Google Podcasts, which actually will be transitioning to YouTube Music. So if you haven't switched everything over to there yet, you might want to get, get doing that soon if you listen to Google Podcasts. Uh, we're also on Apple Podcasts. And we have our Facebook, Facebook group. And we are on YouTube. So if you want to see us as we're talking, and Dan does a great job at putting in images from the awesome source Frith Chronicles fandom wiki. Uh, he he does a great job getting that pushed over to us as well. And if you want to get a hold of us, you can get us at frithguildpod at gmail.com or send a message to us on Facebook or comment on the page. You're also on Discord. Scott, are you on Discord yourself? I am. For the Capital Station Lounge? Capital Station Lounge, yep. So, Scott, do you have anything else to add today? Get ready for the tournament. <laughs> Coming. Right. Thank you for listening and stay tuned.